Welcome to Photoshop designing class. It is my pleasure to be with you today. Now today we are looking at two things that is shadow work and gradient overlay. And so we want to look at how to give your shape a shadow. And then we will later on look at gradient overlay. So let's quickly move on to the work. To give your shape a shadow you select the shape you click on it so when you click on it you go to the panel dock then under there we have fx click on fx and then click on drop shadow drop shadow you click on it good now we have an interface or a dialog box now on the dialog box we have angle distance spread size and opacity good now the angle will give you the direction or the exact spot that you want your shadow to appear we'll come to that later so let's move on to the distance now the distance you just click on this um we call it the set of shadow key set of shadow key you left click on it whilst holding on to left click without releasing your hand you will drag now the range for distance is normally 75 to 80 it shouldn't be more than 80 so you drag and when you get your preferred distance you release your hand okay now i think 79 is okay you can clear the 79 or the figures there and then input your own figure your preferred figure let's say 73 is okay good uh -huh. and then for the spread you just click on the set of key without releasing your hand you drag now the spread shouldn't be more than 25 at least 20 to 23 the range is okay good and 20 23 20 to 25 that is the preferred range good and then the size shouldn't be more than 30 shouldn't be more than 30 you drag to 30 okay good now i have 27 you can also delete it to insert your own figure your preferred figure i think the 30 is okay now for the angle you you know the exact spot or your preferred area where you want your shadow to appear so you click around the circle as you click then you monitor your work as you click you monitor your work you want that so when it gets to your preferred area then you stop now i have my angle on my preferred area so i will stop now we have color color you can se select your preferred color for the shadow so you click on it your preferred you have a set of colors over here you select the one that you think is okay for you so let me select the blue good i have my color you see that if you are monitoring your work you see that the color has changed so i'll click and then i'll click okay okay then i'm done i have my shadow on my work let's quickly look at gradient overlay now when we talk about gradient all what we are trying to say that you want to generate more than one color gradient is generating or insecting more than one color on your work so i'll click on my work go to fx click on fx and then select gradient overlay click on gradient overlay now we have now before you move on to the make sure that your color overlay is deselected click on it to deselect it so that you get your gradient now you see that if you are monitoring your work you see that we have two or more we have one more than one color on the shape you see we have black 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 and white black and white now you can change your black and white to your preferred color so you click on it and then this key we call it uh, color stop color stop key 
we have one down and then one up the color stop key you double click on it and then you change this color to your preferred color good once you click on it you select your preferred color you see i like um this color right you click on it to get your color right good now the black is changed to violet so you click ok then you come to the white you double click on it if you want to change it you double click on it they take you to the set of colors you select your preferred color your preferred color you click ok now you can click on the color stop key without removing your hand then you drag you drag from right to left as you drag you monitor you monitor good now as you monitor you also look at the location i have 75 if it is okay for me i'll stop then i'll come to the left side on my screen i'll click on that color stop key left click on it without releasing my hand i'll drag i'll drag i'll drag see as you drag you monitor your way now it's okay for me then i will click okay i have my set of colors now the angle there you can change it you see what if you click on it you will see that earlier on it was horizontal it was horizontally divided now you see that it's vertically divided see that good so as you click you monitor as you click you monitor so that you get the exact spot that you want how you want the two colors to appear is that okay good good now i have it this way i think i'm okay with it now the system sorry okay when you double double click here you see that a set of colors will pop up this is colors generated by the system so you can select from them the one that you think is okay for you when you click on it this one gives you the chance to give your shape three colors now we have the orange yellow orange the same procedure you can double click on it to change this color to your preferred color the orange you can change it to your preferred color the yellow you can double click on it to change it to your preferred color this orange again you can change it to your preferred color by double click on the color stop key double click on it to change it to your preferred color when you are done then you click okay thank you for your time and i hope to see you some other time bye for now